Hi, my name is Thomas Horton. I am an international business student at Leeds Beckett University, and in this vlog, I'll discuss my own personal buyer behaviour. Recently, I purchased a MacBook Pro to replace my old laptop that had broken. In the consumer purchase theory, this is seen as problem recognition. This is because my old laptop breaking has led to me needing to buy this new computer in order to keep up with uni work. This left me needing to make an infrequent purchase. An infrequent purchase is one that requires a lot of resources, both in monetary terms and in effort, such as doing research about the product I was going to buy to make sure it would fill all my needs and wants for uni life. After my problem recognition, I needed to search for information regarding the possible products that I could purchase. I did this by going to the local Curry's PC World, and in this video you can see just the vast scale of options I had. This included looking at the brands, prices and products that were on the market to see what would be best for me. Another search for information was by using UniDays to see what brands were offering students a discount. It turned out that Dell and Apple both offer discounts, Dell offering 30% off their online products and Apple a 10% discount. I did however look at reviews online by experts, however overall I think I was more bothered about what my friends and family had and what people would think of the laptop I had purchased. This was an external influence on my behaviour as I was more bothered about what other people had than the actual capabilities of the laptop itself. For example, all of my flatmates currently have MacBooks, two having MacBook Pros, one having a MacBook Air and the others having 12 inch MacBooks. In this scenario, the friends and family acted as opinion leaders. This can also link to Gosney and Richardson's theory about the influence of friends and family on purchase behaviour. This is just one of the factors that influence buyer behaviour. The next step in consumer purchase theory is evaluation of alternatives. Before even deciding that I wanted an Apple laptop, first I had to look at all the brands on offer. As in my information search, I discovered that there are laptops of all price range, ranging from around £200 all the way up to £2,000. Also, from this information search, I also knew that all I really used my laptop for was a word processor. This means that the features on a £2,000 laptop may be lost on me. I had already decided I wanted to spend around £1,000, meaning that the laptops in my price range were the MacBook Pro and Surface Book. With my limited knowledge in computers and the similarity of the two products, apart from the touchscreen on the Surface Book, I decided to go with the MacBook. This was mainly because of friends and family's reviews the sleek design which makes it look so desirable. I then had to choose between the four MacBook variants, such as the 15 inch MacBook Pro, 13 inch MacBook Pro, standard 12 inch MacBook, or the MacBook Air. I ended up buying a MacBook Pro 13 inch without the touch bar, due to its large screen, new design, and its space gray colorway. Another factor that contributed into this purchase was my brand loyalty to Apple. For example, at the moment I have an iPhone 7 and an iPad Air, meaning that before this purchase I was already a repeat Apple customer. I purchased the MacBook from Apple's website, meaning that I could use my uni days code and receive 10% off. Overall, this saved me about £129. However, I do not think this discounted price influenced my buying behaviour. So I do not believe that cost was the biggest influence in this purchase. Instead, I believe that whatever the cost, I still would have wanted the MacBook showing how me wanting to be like my peers had now become more important than the cost of the actual product itself. This also came with a 12 month Apple warranty and Apple Care. I also purchased the Space Grey MacBook Pro in order for it to fit in with my Space Grey iPad and iPhone 7. Now having the three Space Grey Apple devices, I believe this has increased my brand loyalty at Apple even further. The final step in the theory is post-purchase evaluation. After purchasing the MacBook, I have not been disappointed. It has lived up to the expectations set by both my iPad and the iPhone before it, and has cemented my bland loyalty to Apple over competitors such as Dell, Intel, Samsung, and Lenovo. I believe this will make it more likely for me to purchase from Apple in the future when replacing either my phone, iPad, or computer. This new laptop has also worked effectively alongside my iPad and my iPhone. This is by using the iCloud, meaning that I can share photos, documents, and calendars instantly without me having to do anything under one cloud. So overall, the purchase of this MacBook has made it even more likely that I am going to purchase again from Apple in the future. It has delivered all my needs and wants up to the standards set by the iPad and iPhone before it. 